Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If you are new here, welcome. Come on in and join the family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and remember the notification bell so you can be reminded every time I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create lovely DIYs using mostly items that I find at the Dollar Tree. I try to keep my DIYs budget friendly but easy to do. I hope everyone is well and I hope everyone is staying safe and I hope you all are crafting. If you want to see some of my creations then keep watching. Welcome back and thank you if this is your first time watching one of my videos. Thank you, thank you. I am sharing with you, it's like a part two to my Buffalo Check Christmas video. And for this first DIY, I'll be using some of these wood planks. I absolutely love these little wood pieces out of the Dollar Tree Crafter Square section. And I have six of these little wood planks here as well. I'll be using two stencils today. I'll be using one um, off of this Dollar Tree stencil here and I also will be using this stencil here and I purchased that one from Hobby Lobby for like a dollar and fifty cent and how cute is this holiday pick I'll be using I got that for one dollar and forty eight cent at Walmart and I'll be using some different color paints I have the antique wax the crimson chart paint the ink color and a little white acrylic paint the first thing I'm going to do is assemble my wood pieces, how I'm going to glue them together using my hot glue. I absolutely love working with these pieces as well because there are so many ideas that you can do using these. And I'm just going to glue all of these pieces together and this is how I'm going to create my Christmas sign. This is like a part two to my previous video where I created the Buffalo Check DIYs. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link that video. I wanted to create more pieces because where these are going to be styled, they're going to be like on a bookshelf. And I needed a little bit more to create that theme. And so these will definitely be able to be styled with those DIYs that I created. And so what I'm doing is just sanding off some glue that was a little bit glob of glue and now what I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to paint this using an antique wax color and after I get this colored I'm going to color those um, wood plates with some of that white acrylic paint and I'm going to do all three of these with that color And after I get these color, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the paint off of this acrylic brush and I am just going to dry brush over my sign and I'm just going to go right across just dry brushing and just a light stroke pattern across this sign. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the leftover antique wax chalk paint and I'm going to go around the edges of those little planks where I painted white and I'm just going to go all around the edges and I'm going to do this to all three of these signs just dry brushing that color right around the edges And once I complete that step, what I'm going to do next is now I'm going to go in and I'm going to stencil home sweet home. So I'm going to put home right in the center of this sign and I'll be using my ink color which is my black color chalk paint for this. And I'm using my little round foam brush and I'm just going up and down right on top of the stencil trying to make sure don't nothing bleed through. I usually just go up and down and I try not to use a whole lot of paint and so there's my first home and I'm going to do a second one that says home and I'm going to repeat that step. Take my foam brush and I'm just going right up and down trying my best not to make anything bleed through. And then after I finish this home, the last one I'm going to do sweet on that one.
using the same technique going up and down and then after I finish this what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that stencil and it has the little different designs the little snowflake designs what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of those to each one of these little flakes and I'm going to use my crimson color chalk paint for that and I'm just going to add one here using my foam brush just dabbing right on top up and down and I'm just going up and down and I am going to add one of these little red snowflakes to each one of these little wood pieces I think that turned out so cute and now that I have all three what I'm going to do now is just fix that T a little bit And after I fix that T a little bit, then I'm going to assemble all my pieces together. I'm going to clip my pick apart. I'm just going to clip off this little metal piece and then pull my pine cones apart from that. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these wood pieces down to the side. I'm going to do home, sweet home. And once I get them where I want them, I'm just going to take my hot glue and tack these down. And so I'm just going to glue that down and then now I'm going to add my pick. I'm going to add some glue and I'm just going to glue my little holiday pick down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those pine cones to cover up the little stem at the bottom. And after I add the pine cones to cover up the stems, this DIY will be complete. I really do like how this turned out. I'm just adding a little glue to the leaf, making sure that everything is tacked down. And this turned out really nice. I really like how this turned out. So pretty. And I'm going to get started on the second DIY for today. I'll be using one of these round wood pieces from Walmart. I like using these pieces as well. Also, I have from the Dollar Tree this cute little red bird holiday pick. This is so adorable. I also will be using one of these duster heads and these are really great to use for the holiday I'll be using some more of my buffalo check ribbon and I did purchase this one at Walmart and this was $3.98 and I'll be using some of these little tumbling blocks from the Dollar Tree the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to glue these little tumbling blocks all around this round piece because what I'm trying to do is create a base so I can wrap my buffalo check around. So what I'm doing is just I'm going to glue each one of these down all around this round piece. And after I finish this, it's going to look like a little table. While I was doing this, I did realize that there's another DIY that I can create doing this technique so I will be doing that as a later date and so now I have something to glue my buffalo check around so I'm just going to add some hot glue and I'm going to wrap the buffalo check all the way around and after I get the buffalo check tacked down I am going to go along the sides and just add a little glue right at the top just to make sure that everything stays on there my son said this is looking like a hat and he is so right <laughs> this looks like a little hat and so just to make sure that my ribbon is secure I'm going to continue going around and a little glue to the top and making sure the ribbon is tight and then after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that duster head and I am going to cut it up because I'm going to glue that to the top of this DIY Now I do have to cut it up in pieces to make sure that it covers the top because I will not be painting that wood piece. And so I'm just going to glue that down and then cut two extra pieces to glue down on the sides. And it will all blend because it's fluff. And so after I get everything glued on top, I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim everything down so it can be nice and neat.
And then after I get everything trimmed down, that's when I'm going to take that um, Dollar Tree Christmas garland and I am going to go around the DIY using that right above the buffalo check ribbon. So what I'm going to do is just take the garland and I'm going to use my hot glue and I'm going to tack it right around the top of the ribbon and the bottom of the fluff. And after I get that tacked down, I am going to take my scissors and trim that down some so it won't be so wild. And I'm just adding glue to make sure that everything is tacked down tightly. And I'm going to continue to add the glue and trim everything down. And so after I get this trimmed up, this is so cute. My son set it on top of his head. He said, Mom, this looks like a little Christmas hat. <laughs> it's so funny. But I think it turned out so cute. I'm just going to add some glue and tack my little pig down. And then this DIY will be complete. I really think this turned out so cute. I really like how this looks. And I'm going to get started on the next DIY. What I'll be using is one of these little round chalkboard tags from the Dollar Tree. I have some jute cord, some Christmas ribbon. I have this cute little Christmas pick that I'll be using. And all these items did come from the Dollar Tree. I'll be using the little heart on that stencil. One of these wood frame pedestal. One of the little wood boxes. And I have some of these wood pieces. I'll just be using two. And my paint choices will be the antique wax. I have some white acrylic paint and I'll be using this black which is the color ink chart paint. The first thing I'm going to do is glue these two wood pieces together. I'm just going to take some of my tape from Walmart to just keep these two pieces together so it can be flat. And then what I'm going to do is flip it over once I get it lined up and then I'm going to add some glue in between these two wood pieces just to get them glued together. And then after I do that, I am going to go in with the antique wax color chart paint and I'm going to paint this piece here. And I'm going to paint that with that color and I'm going to use that acrylic white paint for the little box. And so I'm just going to paint over this first. And then I'm going to take the old acrylic white paint and paint this little wooden box using that color. And after I get this painted, I am going to paint the little wood picture frame pedestal using that ink color chart paint. And so after I get this painted, what I'm going to do is take the leftover white acrylic paint and I'm going to dry brush around this little wood piece here as well as on top of it. And then I'm going to take that same brush and dry brush over this piece as well making sure that I get the edges and then I'm going to dry brush on top of that and then for the little white box I'm going to take the leftover antique wax chalk paint and I am going to dry brush over that white with that color and I'm just going to make sure I get the edges and then dry brush lightly over the sides And then after I get everything dry brushed, I am going to take the little chalkboard piece and I am going to put my little heart, I removed the little string and I'm just going to put my little heart and I'm going to take that white acrylic paint and I'm just going to dab right on top of my little heart. And I'm not using a whole lot of paint and I'm just going up and down. And after I get that on there, I'm going to pull off two little berries off that pick. And I'm going to glue those to this sign as well. Just using some hot glue. And then what I'm going to do is just add some hot glue to the back of this and then I'm going to glue that little chalkboard round piece right to the back and then after I get that I'm going to set this to the side and I am going to decorate my little box because that's going to be my little present and what I'm going to do is just I'm going to glue 
this ribbon and the jute cord to this box just like I'm wrapping a present with some ribbon and I'm just going to add the glue tack that down to the side and then I'm going to take the jute cord and I'm going to go right on top of the ribbon with the jute cord And then I'm just going to tack that down and clip off the excess. And I'm going to do the exact same thing across. I'm going to add the ribbon first. And then right on top of the ribbon, I'm going to add the jute cord. And then after I get all of that complete, after I add my jute cord, I am going to take my little present as well as the little picture frame pedestal and I am going to glue those to this wood piece here I'm just going to see how I want to tack that down and I'll just be using my hot glue to attach these pieces after I get my present glued down I'm going to take the remaining pieces of this holiday pick and I'm going to glue them right to the top I'm just adding some glue and I'm just going to tuck that under there and then I'm going to take those berries and I'm going to glue them right on top and then I'm going to take my little wood pedestal and glue that right to the side and then this DIY will be complete I think this is so cute I really like how this turned out so adorable and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started on the next DIY for today and for this last DIY, I'll be using one of these signs here, these Christmas signs from the Dollar Tree. I have one of the Dollar Tree Christmas picks. I will also be using some of that Buffalo Check ribbon, and I have this stencil here. And I purchased this stencil from Hobby Lobby. This was a dollar and fifty cent, and I will be using this scrapbooking paper. And this was for four dollar at Hobby Lobby as well. Also, I'll be using some of my crimson chalk paint. And what I'm going to do first is I don't want this part. I just want this to be a round piece. So I'm just taking my little knife from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to continue to go over that line until this piece detach. And then after I get this piece detached, I'm going to sand it down a little bit on the sides just to make sure it's smooth. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to trace out my scrapbooking paper. And then I'm going to add my Mod Podge. And I am going to add it to the sign, making sure that I put an even coat. And then I'm also going to add it to the scrapbooking paper that I traced out. And then I'm just going to place that right on top of my sign. And I'm going to smooth it out really good just to make sure there's no bubbles. And I'm just placing it right on top. And then I'm going to smooth everything out. And then I'm going to take my sanding paper and I'm going to go all around the edges. When I cut out my scrapbooking paper, I cut it out a little bigger and I'm just going to go around and the paper will fall off. This way I'm just making sure that I have full coverage and that everything is smooth. And I'm just going to go around this sign until all of the paper fall off and everything is smooth. And now that everything is done, I'm going to take that stencil and I'm going to place it right on top. And I'm going to go in with that crimson color shark paint and I'm going to dab all around right on top. Just up and down because I really do not want this to bleed at all. I want to make sure that I can keep this reform. And so I'm just going to take my time and I'm going to go all around dabbing up and down. And I'm just going to continue going up and down, dabbing over this stencil until everything is covered. 
Hopefully when I pull up my stencil, everything is neat. And I think everything turned out okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I decided to take um, my stencil from the Dollar Tree and go over this love. Now I never liked how this O turns out on this love. So what I may end up doing, I don't know, I'm gonna wait and see how I feel about the O, but it never turns out right. I'm gonna try to fix it, but I may end up taking some little Dollar Tree garland pieces and go around my O. And now what I'm gonna do is just attach those pieces from that pick and I'm going to just glue these to the bottom right right to the side of this little reef and I'm going to take these acorns and glue those down and then I'm just going to glue down my berries and after I get everything glued down I'm going to take a piece of that buffalo check ribbon just to create a hanger And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just glue these two sides together and then I'm gonna glue the sign right on top. And I am gonna take another little piece of ribbon just to go around the bottom of my little loop. And so here's a look at how everything turned out. I love the home sweet home sign. I think this turned out really great. And I cannot wait to style this with my other Christmas decor in my home. I really love that and I do like the little bird nest or like my son said the little Christmas hat I think this is so cute it's adorable and I definitely can't wait to pair that with my other Christmas decor and the little present sign is so cute and you can actually stencil the word joy or something else but I decided to go with the little heart and how cute is my love sign and I didn't like the O so as you can see I did go around it with a little garland but I think it still turned out really nice thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos I truly truly appreciate your support if you like this video please remember to give it thumbs up and if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel I would love to have you here as always, in a comment box down below, let me know which one of these were your favorite. And as always, stay safe and I will see you in the next video.